If you're a photographer, there's a very solid chance that you use Adobe softwares to edit your images, whether that's with Photoshop, Lightroom CC, or Lightroom Classic. And if you started anytime around 2017 or after, there's a really good chance that Adobe pushed you to use Lightroom CC. Lightroom CC had just come out around that time, and if you're new to the world of photo editing, choosing Lightroom CC over Lightroom Classic feels like a very obvious choice. The editing workflow is much more streamlined, and the UI is generally much more approachable, making Lightroom CC generally more desirable than Lightroom Classic. And this small path that I laid out here is pretty much exactly what I did. I started editing photos in 2017 with Photoshop because it was all I knew how to use at the time. But I was a student looking to explore, so I did end up trying out Lightroom Classic, and then tried out Lightroom CC, and that was kind of a wrap. Lightroom CC was much more intuitive to me, so I just went with that. Now I'm not going to do a total deep dive comparing these two softwares, because to me, it's really as simple as this. When you spend 5 minutes with Lightroom Classic, you are genuinely overwhelmed. When you spend 5 minutes with Lightroom CC, you have a pretty good idea of how the software works and what it wants you to do. And so I've kept on using it. I've been using Lightroom CC since 2017, and I've only touched Lightroom Classic a couple times just for very specific photo shoots or functions like the panoramic tool, which was even added somewhat recently to Lightroom CC now. It wasn't until very recently that I started to see some of the flaws of the Lightroom CC, and after I'd seen enough of them, it occurred to me that what I'm looking for in an editing program might be more suited to Lightroom Classic. So while I am going to be personally making the switch to Lightroom Classic, I do want to point out that in terms of editing functionality, these programs are close to identical. There's just a few nuances that I place a lot of value on that are supported by Lightroom Classic. So these are the three reasons that I'm taking one step backward to take two steps forward and switching from Lightroom CC to Lightroom Classic. Reason number one, export settings. Now this is something I've just recently come across. I've been getting more into ordering prints and fixing my website, but the export options in Lightroom CC are watered down compared to that of Lightroom Classic. As far as I'm concerned, the only real difference in terms of exporting file types is that in Lightroom Classic, you can export as a Photoshop file, which very rarely matters to me. Something that did inspire the switch though is Lightroom CC not being able to export images at certain DPI values. When I want to export a web version of my image at 72 dpi, I quickly found out that that wasn't possible, and that's actually what prompted me to open Lightroom Classic and start this whole endeavor. Reason number two, virtual copies. Something I find massively underrated in Lightroom Classic is virtual copies, and these are exactly what they sound like. It's just like copying anything else digitally. It's the absolute best way to try out different edit combinations and crops, and for some reason that I can't quite wrap my head around, Lightroom CC doesn't have access to this. It has versions which is very similar, but somehow works in a much more clunky way. Right click, make a virtual copy is superior. Reason number three, storage and online versus offline. This has been the most important factor in determining my switch from Lightroom CC to Lightroom Classic for sure. Lightroom Classic uses a catalog system to show you all your photos that are stored locally. Now you can organize these photos within Lightroom Classic, but they're still easily and regularly accessible within Finder. You can see here that I have a 2022 folder with raw files, edit, print files, and the catalog itself. Comparatively, Lightroom CC uses cloud-based storage to make your images accessible wherever they are. And while this is generally a good thing, it's not a feature that I really find myself needing. My whole photography YouTube thing is pretty lean and I often find that my images really just don't need to be connected in this way. Plus, using one of their storage plans, shooting raw files eats through storage very quickly. As the amount of photos that I have continues to grow, I found it very clear that Lightroom CC isn't an adequate future-proof solution for storing my photos. And I know with Lightroom CC, you can change how your photos are stored and all that, but for me, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that when I'm using Lightroom Classic, I know exactly what versions of my photos I have and where they are, whereas with Lightroom CC, my whole photo organization system feels very cluttered and very confused. Additionally, Lightroom CC is intended to make editing photos more accessible so you can use it places like offline from your phone. I've edited photos on flights and I really like to edit photos in my morning commute on the subway, but something about going in and out of cell service in the subway has deleted some of my edits a few times. Now this isn't a huge deal because I haven't lost anything except just 20 minutes of work, but I'd rather not use my time this way if there's a chance that it'll just be deleted. And that's it. I don't want to paint Lightroom CC as a terrible software or anything like that because the reality is in terms of editing, these programs are close to identical, and I'll still be using Lightroom CC going forward for a smaller percentage of my work. I already pay for it anyways, and it's undeniably convenient for stuff like small projects, quick edits, and posting to Instagram. But as I become a more seasoned photographer, I'm placing more emphasis on proper file management and protecting my images as best I can. So hopefully this video gave you guys a clear idea as to why I'm personally switching to Lightroom Classic and helps you reevaluate the softwares that you use and if or not they're serving you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one real soon.